Welcome back. Today, I'm going fishing. I haven't gone fishing in a long time. Um, I think it's been, I think I haven't gone fishing since 2020. It's 2022 now. And uh, when I first moved here, <laughs> I expected, uh, I expected to take it easy. I was like, you know what, I'm going to move to my new place. And I'm just going to go fishing and enjoy myself for the summer. It didn't turn out to be like that at all. This was a lot of work. But now I'm finally at a stage where I'm comfortable enough to take days off and go exploring, go fishing and things. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, a neighbor has told me about a nice little spot that I can go to try and get some trout. And yeah, I'm going to show you how I do that. first thing that you need to do when you're fishing is get yourself some bait. Now that's some good bait there. Look at that. Ooh. It's wiggling around. Ah. Now I'll show you what I've got, uh, after like just a minute or two of digging I got some small worms and I got these grubs as well, it looks like one of them is dead. Uh, but that'll do, that will do, and if you're wondering what I was digging with, I've got this gardening knife thing, it's called Nisaku, it's got that serrated edge and that other edge there is very sharp as well. I've actually I cut myself on it a couple of times. Um, but, oh yeah, and it's got this measuring thing here. So it's really, really handy for gardening. The serrated edge is good for cutting through roots if you're cutting in a grassy area like this. Uh, just an all around good tool, I would recommend. Hello. When my neighbors, let me get this, hang on. Let me get that in focus, look at that. That's amazing, that's so beautiful. When my neighbors told me to come down here, I said it would be a good spot for trout. I didn't think it would be this good. This is perfect, perfect trout environment. <laughs> um, now it hasn't been raining in the last week, so it's probably a bad day to go fishing. And it's very, the sun is really high right now. So it's about time of day to go fishing, but uh, wow, wow. <laughs> so this this is like this is perfect. All of that. There's the saying, "Foam is home." Right? Trout love really oxygenated air. They like this fast-moving environment, and these these eddies. So where the fast water meets the, hang on, let me walk out here and see if I can get this exposed right. Oh, here we go. So these sections where the, that's the fast flowing water meets that slow running, moving water. The trout are usually like on that line because they're lazy fish. They like to sit in the, in the, uh, the quiet parts and then as all the bugs and whatever else are flying down in the fast water, they, they dip in and out to try and get their meal. So when I'm fishing, I want to try and get my, my bait in that fast moving water, aim for that middle line there, right where the trout like to live. Now I didn't know what to expect when I was coming out here. I was just told there was a river, good chance of trout. I didn't know that it was going to be something like this. So I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of kit with me. I just brought something very simple. Uh, just to give it a bit of play. Um, this is a really good spot for flies. There's some nice little eddies down there for fly fishing. Uh, I could have brought my fly rod. I kind of regret not doing that now. Um, but, yeah, I'll show you what I have. 
and then uh, how I go about using it. Now, so I've said before in a previous video that I'm not the best fisherman, <laughs> but I do still like to do it. I think it's just uh, a lot of fun. Whoa, that's a bit tangled. One second, there we go. Let me just clean this up for you so I can show you what it is. This is, sorry, this is a hobo fishing reel. So it's just a stick with a bit of line. This is the tackle. There's a float. There's two, two weights on it and a small little hook. Um, yeah, very simple, very not complicated. I love these kind of systems. Uh, not always uh, the best, doesn't suit all situations, but we'll see if we can make it work today. Um, so I'm just going to put my bait on the end of the hook and then let it float downstream. Now, so the first thing I have to do is I have to go on a scout and see the best spot to use the kit that I have. Uh, yeah, just give me a few minutes while I do that. Also, I should have <laughs> I should have brought my boots, um, so I could actually get in the water. So I'm limited again. I have to go off the banks or a rock or something. Anyway. Take my uh, my shoes off here. Roll up my jeans so I can get better access. Um, yeah, I saw a trout rising while I was looking there. That's why I ran back. Um, so, um, so. I know that there's one there, I just need to get myself upstream of it so I can float down the worm. Right. Sick. Right.
I don't know if I got that on camera or not, but I did. I did snag a trout, but uh, I, this is why I know I'm not a good fisherman. I had my line a little bit too slack, so I couldn't snag the hook. So he got away, and so did my bait. So I gotta hook a new, new grub. Try again, but I know he's there. Well, didn't work out today, <laughs> as expected, kinda. I got two, um, I got one good bite that uh, I failed to set the hook on it. Um, so that was my fault. And I got two more bites, but they just took the bait and left the hook. So, uh, that was still a bit of fun, I enjoyed it. It's nice to know this space is here. Um, I'll definitely be coming back. There's some other spots further downstream that are a bit shallower, so I'd like to bring my um, my fly rod and give that a go. Cause what I this trout that I saw here today were they were surfacing, so. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. 